comes off. This goes on here. This will be the same ones here. And we'll switch to the other video and we'll see the interferometer. Okay. Okay. This goes on here. This goes on here. This goes over here. And then let's turn this on. Pass straight through, hit that, and reflect into there. Hit this, reflect off this into here. So this part here. Into the receiver, we have two waves. If I move this, you can see the reading here changing. So it goes small to large to small to large to small. To large. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a measurement and then you're going to calculate the wavelength of these microwaves. So I'm going to find a maximum to 36.2 and this reading here is 36.1 so we've moved through 1.4 centimeters. So what does that make the wavelength of these microwaves? You do your calculation. A presto, there's your answer. If you say it's 1.4, then just think about what the waves are doing here. Draw a diagram and you'll feel, you'll realise that you're going through half a wavelength when you're going from maximum to maximum. Right, the next part of this experiment is we're going to find the refractive index of glass because glass will in fact slow down the waves. Let's go through the theory of what's happening in an interferometer. This way it behaves as a partial mirror. So the microwaves come through here, some of them get reflected against this and some of them go straight through to here, the receiver. Some of them go straight through get reflected from that fixed mirror and go into the receiver. If I change this here, then I'm changing the path length. If I'm changing the path length, then one of these, the wave coming from the, the, the sliding mirror is going to uh, interfere with the wave coming from the fixed mirror. Now if I use a piece of glass to put in here, slowing the wave down, so it's exactly the same as moving this further away. So I'm going to find a maximum. If we find a maximum, 
so that's 36.5 on there now we put our glass in we'll move it forward because this has slowed it down so we have to move it forward come to the next one 36.1 so you can use your calculation sheet to make your calculation.